Hello everyone. This is Victory here. Today is September 29, 9,000, 2019. And we have one cable trim machine which is ready for shipment. And today I'm going to show you how we produce the cable tree and how we operate this line. This is the overall, overall view. You can see this is combination cutter, but now you just follow me. We will check the line from the input, the color part. Okay, this is the overall view. Now, from the color part, I'm going to show you. This is our 7 ton. The loading capacity is 7 ton. And uh, it's driven by uh, hydraulic. You can see there is one hydraulic pump station here. And uh, this is expansion by hydraulic. So once the coil move in on the decoller, the sound is very smooth. And here is the operation panel. Here is the operation panel. And you can check our joint, cylinder, and this is pump station. You can check the process inside. This is joint, expansion. After the color, and also in the end, for the heavy, heavy and the widened coil, we have this supporter. We have this supporter frame to balance the weight. After this decoder, then we go into this sensor. For this sensor, the function is that once the plate, once the coil touch the plate, touch this plate, this plate, this sensor will feed back the signal to this decoder. So the decoder will stop working to make sure the plate, uh, the coil won't touch the plate. After the sensor, then we go into this leveling and the punch station. This line, as you know, the max thickness is 2 mm. The most uh, width, the maximum width is, is 200, uh, 800. And we can check how the punch station is working. This is how the punch station is working. This is the punching for the, the joint slat for. And here is kind of like a punch station. You can adjust the weights by this hand wheel. And uh, this punch station can travel on this line, on this guide. It's high precision guide. Okay. Just a one time punch, you can make this pull. And here is the input table for the coil. Also can be adjusted by this hand wheel. After puncture station, after puncture station, after this puncture station, we go into the forming machine, and again we have the input table. The input table should be adjusted according to the coil width and it also can be adjusted by this uh, hand wheel. Now after this, we go into this first rolling steps and you can see in our line, we combined the double panel and it's train transmission. Here, there is a double panel that each roller is supported by this 
this is the shaft and this is chain transmission and that is the double double wall panel and in this line we combine the two motor here is for input and the, the motors the motor power is 7.5 this motor is 7.5 and for the adjusted the width of the cable tree it's motorized we have the motorized and the power that is 2.2 kilowatt and we have four steps for this to adjust the see uh, one is the other side and here there is another one to make balance and this is for longer shaft and also all the parts all the roller support can be moved around the around the guide and here we have the position limitation switch position li limitation switch and here is the guide okay and then we can check the forming here This is going to the forming steps. <laughs> you can see step by steps the height going to form. And then we can understand the roller become bigger to make different to adapt the itself for different height because this line the max height is up to 200 millimeter so you can check the roller become more bigger and more bigger and here we have some side support roller the diameter I think should be up to 600 millimeter. The diameter of the rollers. And then we have the fin finished product. It's going to cut. You can hear it's very smooth. This is our finished product. One more call. Okay, it's going to cut. This cutting die requires a combination. You can see. The maximum width is up to 800. The max height is up to 200. We can make a very different size. Here is our testing samples. Here is all our testing samples. And here is our operation panel. Okay, let's check one more time. The cutting die, one more time. Very smoothly. Okay, going up. Uh, here is the operation panel. We have English and we have Chinese combined inside. And English panel is here. And that is lens display. Everything can be set in this operation panel. Our touch screen is MCGS. I want to show you inside. Uh, this is uh, Siemens. This is Siemens. PLC is Siemens. And uh, this is our inverter. Inverter. Inverter is Java. 
and the low, low wattage is Chinese famous brand and you can check everything is well organized okay. it's our and the most important I'm going to show you this pump station the hydraulic is from Japan brand, Japanese brand, UK. This is our hydraulic motor. Let's check what's the what's the power. Okay. The power shall be 15. Yes. The power is 15 kW. 15 kW and just uh, follow me for one more check of the line you can see the the lorry is very big more close to the output table it's more close the more the lorry is more big oh uh, there is another we have one one and the two motor inside. This motor is 11 kW. Okay. This is our overall view of the cable tree line. From the hydraulic decoder, we go to the sensor, and then we go into this leveling and the punch station. We go to the forming machine, and we go to the cutting, and that is combination cutting, machine, cutting die for different size. Have one more lock. If you need a cable tray machine, you can contact with us for any kind of design and for any kind of punching, punching for the design. And you can subscribe our YouTube channel. Okay, see you next time. Thank you for today. Thank you for today. See you next time. Bye-bye.